All right, we're going to draw a one-point perspective of this object over here. I've got a front view and I've got a top view. I'm going to transfer the information from this front view across over here. You can see that I've got my center line over there lined up and the center line coming across from there. I get my radius from here, take that across, and I can draw that in straight away as a dark line. The reason being is that I can see that that surface over there is touching the picture plane. Um, I can take this little circle over here and take that across as well. Pop that in there. Draw that very quickly. Um, I'm going to draw the rest of this as construction lines. Why? Because I can see this, this part of it is further back. Okay, construction lines. This is meant to be done construction lines. I'm drawing a little bit darker than I normally would just to just to give that a little bit more body to it so that you can see it. What we're looking at over here, I've got a cylinder. You can see the center line going right the way through. It's a cylinder with a hole going through the center of it. Um, I need to find my vanishing point by drawing a line going straight up from stationary point to my vanishing point over there. Please label vanishing point. I'm going to take my lines going back from the center over here actually going to start by drawing a center line going through this thing up to vanishing point. As I said, don't go right the way through vanishing point, otherwise vanishing point gets very big. Um, I'm now going to say, all right, um, what is the radius of this circle over here? At the beginning, it's going to be that radius over there, but that radius is going to get smaller and smaller as it goes back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the edge over here, I'm going to take a Line going back from that radius, going back to vanishing point. Um, I need to find out where the radius is at this particular point over here. Can you see that point over there? I'm going to have an arc over there. That point over there is going to give me the center of that particular radius that I need to draw in there. I'm going to take that down to the stationary point. As it crosses over the picture plane, I'm going to draw a line coming down and it intersects with my center line that I drew back over here, over there. I'm going to take a line going straight out like that. Why? Because I've got a line going straight out to the edge of the cylinder over here. And with that information, I can now say, well, my new radius is not the same as this one. It is getting smaller. Why? Because it's in perspective. And I can draw in a radius which goes round to there. Right? Once I've got that in place, well, now I can take a line that goes back on the top over here to that point. And I can draw a little line going straight up from that point. And now I'm going to say, well, um, oh, sorry, not a, not a line going up. A line coming across from that point, line coming across from that point, well, where's it going to stop? Let's see. I've got this little point over here, which I'm going to take back to the vanishing point. 
And as it crosses over that point, I've got a line that's meant to go up. So I'm going to take a line going up from that point. And then I'm going to look at this little corner over here. I'm going to take that across to vanishing point, and it cuts over there. And then I'm going to draw a line coming across over here. And I'm going to take a line going back from this little point over here. Um, I'm going to take a line going back from this point over here. I need to find out where along this line that point over there is. I'm going to take that line coming down to stationary point now. Line comes down to stationary point. Crosses over the picture plane. Drops down to that line over there. And I can now draw in line going there, line going up, line going across, and a line coming down to there. You can see how what I've got over here has now been transferred back. It needs to come back a little bit and link up with a line coming back from here. From that point, it's going to come straight down and it's going to link up with a line coming back from this point over here. And that now goes across to a point somewhere down here where this circle is going to intersect with it. Seeing that? Everybody happy with... The big thing here is note the circle. I think everybody gets pan panicky when they see the circles. There's your circle. The radius starts at that length. I've got a line coming from the center going to the vanishing point, And I've got a line coming from that center line over there on the edge of the circle going to vanishing point. The radius over here. I'm just going to highlight that with a nice pink crayon. My radius over there has got smaller than my original radius, which was over here. So instead of taking my pair of compasses at that radius, they've moved back and they have moved in in order to get that arc over there. Does that make sense? All right. Um, once I've got that in place, um, I need to find the circle basically further back on this thing and I need to find the thickness of this. I'm going to do that very very quickly. Um, need to take a line from this back corner over here of this funny beak looking thing out there. Take that down. Links up over there. I can draw a line going from there to there. And take a line going from this back corner over here, down to picture plane, take that down, and draw a line going from there to there, link that up. Once I've got that, I'm basically almost finished this drawing. That goes over there, and that goes over there. Um, I need to find, there's another line that's going to come down over here. I need to just find that quickly. Take a line coming up from this corner over here. Going back to vanishing point over there. Um, I need to find where that point is. That's this hidden detail line over there. Take that down to 
stationary point, drop it down, and I should have a line coming down like that. Line going across there. And draw this line in a bit darker. Going in there. Links up with my circle, which comes around over here. I need to find the circles at the back. Um, where's the circle center at the back? There it is. Okay, I'm going to take that down to the stationary point over here. Crosses over the picture plane. Drops it down. Crosses over the center line from the center of my circle at that point. I take that out to the line that came back from the edge of the circle. You can see it linking up the, the green, the pink, and now it's going to link up. Let's give it an orange. You can see the little radius over there. Set your pair of compasses to that smaller radius over there. And draw in a circle over there. Okay, just a construction line circle to start with. You should find that you have those two circles linked up with a line going to just draw a tangent to that circle and that circle and this drawing is basically finished. There it is. Let's draw that in nice and dark. I'm just going to... There's your drawing done.